ear has three parts, the outer ear or auricle, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The auricle, the visible part of the ear, collects sound waves and directs them to the auditory canal. The auditory or ear canal is lined with cilia and ceruminous glands. The earwax from the ceruminous gland and the cilia protect the ear from entry by foreign matter. The thin tympanic membrane separates the outer ear from the middle ear. Sound waves cause it to vibrate. The three tiny bones of the middle ear are the hammer or malleus, anvil or incus, and stapes or stirrup. These bones pick up the vibrations from the tympanic membrane and transmit them to the inner ear. The eustachian tube of the middle ear opens into the pharynx and permits air pressure to equalize between the ear and the outside air. The inner ear is maze-like, consisting of bony and membranous structures surrounded by fluid. The semicircular canals are fluid-filled bony loops that help maintain our body's balance. The cochlea is a fluid-filled, snail-shaped structure that houses the organ of corti, the true organ of hearing. The fluid aids in the transmission of the vibrations. The organ of corti changes the vibrations into nerve impulses that are picked up by the auditory nerve. Sound waves are collected by the auricle, or outer ear, and sent to the auditory canal, tympanic membrane, ear bones, and then to the cochlea, where the vibrations are changed by the organ of corti to nerve impulses and transmitted by the auditory or cochlear nerve to the temporal lobe of the brain for interpretation. Thank you.